Hey guys, it's Kyle Bennett with HardoCP.com and uh, I've been seeing a lot of people are having some issues with the hold down screws on these uh, TR4 sockets for the Threadripper. So while we've done this in the past, we've, uh, we've shown you a uh, how to install video and quite frankly, uh, we got called out that we were doing it incorrectly. So that's fine, but a lot of the things that I tried to remedy in that video, I didn't come across and I didn't, I did not explain well enough. So what I'm going to show you today is how to install this CPU again, this Threadripper CPU into the TR4 socket. And I'm going to show you a couple tricks that we've learned along the way. We're just going to use the tool that came with the Threadripper, which is this uh, Torx wrench. And so we're going to open this up, it's spring loaded. Pops right up, gets out of the way. Then of course, we have the uh, secondary cover that um, rides in the uh, carrier, all right? So this is easy. You just have to pull lightly on each side just a little bit, and you'll hear it pop up. Then you can let it out of your way as well, all right? So now that's out of the way. Now, this one's been open before, so I do not have the next shroud that covers the pins down on the socket. I would suggest that you do not try to reinstall it unless you are very, very careful. Obviously, you do not want to touch these pins at all because once you move them out of the way, once you, um, once you distort them a little bit, they're extremely hard to get back in place. Okay, so here's what we're going to show you. So now that we have this secondary, the carrier cover opened, so if you take a pin or a screwdriver or anything you want, put it in the hole right there, pull up, you'll hear that detent flip. Let me lean up a little bit here. Hear that click. So now that's loose. It makes it a lot easier to pull this out. Okay. So we're going to remove that. Thread ripper CPU. Don't want to touch the back. If you do, probably want to clean this off. Okay. So this rides down into the carriage carrier slides down once it gets to the bottom you'll feel uh you'll feel a click right there it's all the way in so now what you want to do is use your fingers these two blue tabs on the socket click it into place all right so here's what i really wanted to address here so now we've got our thread ripper down in the socket so you got to close this back and you'll notice it says close one, two, three. This is number one. That's number two. That's number three. Now the problem people are having is, is they insert number one here and they torque it all the way down. And what this does is it causes this socket to kind of kick up and back because you're placing the torque all the way down on the front. So obviously it wants to come up on this side and people are having problems getting these other two bolts threaded in. So this is the remedy I've, I've God, I've installed a whole bunch of these processors on a myriad of different motherboards. All the TR4 sockets have been the same. I hear people saying the threads are too short on the sockets. And honestly, if you follow the exact directions and torque all the way down the first time around, you may run into that. So here's what I'm going to show you. It's a really easy trick. You guys probably know it if you worked out in the garage. Also, this Torx head wrench, if you've got this down in there good, you're not going to slide off. Okay. So here's what I want you to do. So get your Torx head wrench in there and turn this backwards like you're unscrewing it, all right? So what's going to happen is we want to grab just a little bit of the thread to get all three of these screws started, okay? So we're going to turn backwards. Make sure that click. Let me turn it around again. So if you turn backwards and while you're pushing down, you'll hear it click. There's the click. Now we know our threads are lined up. Now I can do a quarter turn to tighten it. Now that thread is set. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back around to number two. And I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to press down. Hear the click. Take it around again. There it is. Now I'm going to take a quarter turn to tighten it. Now that thread is seated. We're going to do the same thing here. Backwards. That thread is seated. Now I can go a quarter turn. Okay, so now all three of our screws are started. So we're going to use this. Oop, 
tighten all the way down. That's the nice thing about Torx head, they don't slide out. We're about to get tight. There's the click on our Torx wrench. Our torque wrench, rather. We're going to do that over here. Again. Here we are. It's tight enough. Number three. There you go. So that's all there is to it, again, your screws lined up to make sure they start evenly. And then that way you don't have that socket floating around on top of there that makes these uh, back two very difficult to get into place. And it doesn't take much pressure pushing down on it. But yeah, just turn it backwards until you hear those threads snap in place and then give you a quarter turn, do that all the way around. Then follow your closing orders of one, two, three, torque all the way down, torque all the way down, torque all the way down. This is Kyle Bennett with Hardo CP.